Every person you sleep with, you committing what they call is a soul tie. Your soul is connecting with that person. When that connection is broken, you take some of them with you. Woo, and they take some of you with them. This means that you lose some of yourself. Hey, God, when you, you think you just, that's why the Bible said, don't let the man of God make himself one with a harlot. Because everything that's on her, every person she done been with, every addiction that she have, every God that she serve. God told Solomon, he said, listen, when you multiply wives, you're going to chase after the uh, gods of the women that you done been with. Why? Because some of her soul is on your soul. You'd be surprised. I'm flowing right now. We just going to go out here. We just going to go. You worry about STDs and AIDS and stuff, and you should worry about that. But there are spiritual diseases as well. Remember, the physical is just a representation of the spiritual. And God is trying to show you through the physical diseases that there are some things that you will bring out of that fornication, out of that adultery, and you will carry it with you. And there are some things that will not be cured. I done laid hands and prayed on many people. Mine, gone. And the Spirit will let me know. It's because of the hundreds, that, of, the, of the fifties, of the twenties of the that they done slept with. Got some of you this year. You being with two, three, four, five at the same time. In the same week. And you wonder why your mind is messed up. Why your memory messed up. Why your emotions just messed up? Why you're on medication? Why you're bipolar? Why you're schizophrenia? Yeah, yeah. It's because when we look at your soul, you got so many different patches and pieces of other people's <laughs> problems all over you. The locust, the straw in your soul. Pastor, what is the soul? The soul is made up of three parts, three full parts. The soul is the mind, the will, the emotions, the memory, the intangible, the things that we can't see but that make up us, the soul. And the devil and the world, they war against your soul. And if he can't have your soul to go to hell with him, he will try his best to damage your soul. So that you'll be no good to yourself, to your children, to your wife, to your church, to your job, and you're sitting in some padded room wondering what happened to you. You're only given one. Yes, my friend, the locust. The locust. They eat up your wealth, your health, the people in your lives, your mind, your emotions, your will. While you're in sin, the devil will come and tear your will up. Your will is that drive to be great and to do something awesome in this life. Amen. We wonder why people sit there and do nothing. Wow. We wonder why they have no dreams and no aspirations to do something great. It's because of your sinful lifestyle and you shacking up with the devil for so long. He set the locust loose upon your will. And you have no aspirations 
You have no dreams and no desires. When you were younger, you were full of hopes. You had, as though it were, hallelujah, my God, high hopes. You had audacity. But because of living in sin and playing with the devil, you sit there and you do nothing. And you live a life that's beneath your potential because the locusts have come in and destroyed your will. Y'all with me so far? Uh, 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 I don't know where all this is coming from. I just had just a little part like this on my notes, but... But the Bible tells us this. And I will restore to you. 